Hi, I'm Brian Barrett. Welcome to Bar YU. I'm here with Professor Barry Clower. Today, what are we going to talk about, Barry? Well, you'd ask me about uh, what a cowboy wears out in the heat and the cold, yep. and uh, basically going to talk about her clothes today. Fashion. Barry, when I was growing up, on TV, we'd see the westerns, and in the commercials, we'd see images and pictures of what a cowboy was to look like, depending right. on whose uh, version of that it is. Yeah. Now, I've, I've, as long as I've known you, you've worn pretty much the consistent, you've been very consistent in your, what I would say, your wardrobe choice. Yes, yes. Uh, for instance, the same Barry that's sitting right here, Right. no kidding, will be the same Barry four hours from now when it's 101, because yeah. we did it yesterday. Yep, that's exactly it's, right. It's going to be over 100 <laughs> degrees out in the field. Yeah. Who's going to be running around, you know, working with cattle. Right. On horseback. Right. Sweating. Yep. But yet you're wearing long sleeves here, and it's Correct. for right now we're in the summer months. Yeah. Um, explain that yeah. to people who may go, why is he... Why can't he wear a T-shirt like you know, right. like the guy, the other guy across in the other chair? Yeah, T explain that to us. Yeah, I th I think a lot of it comes from uh, what you said. The same Barry that's sitting here will be the same Barry that you yep. see driving through town or walking through the yep. store, and and a lot of that is is a mental thing. Is I want you to be able to trust the fact that I am the same wherever I go. Sure. The main thing is is protection. Everything I have on protects me from the elements that uh, that I may, may be up against. Uh, for example, if if I'm just going to go out for an hour or two out there in that open field or open pasture and uh, ride a good gentle horse and, and gather some good gentle cattle, I don't have the big threat of going through the briars and the trees right. and the brush. Right. Okay. But if one of those cows at that time. Very important. One of those one of those cows yeah. at any time decides that that uh, hey, I want to leave. And they will. And they will. <laughs> they have. We've all seen it. They're going to leave and go through the brush. Yes, they will. Do I ride back to the pickup? Take my t-shirt off and my ball cap and put my hat on and my right. my, my leggings, my, my yeah. chaps, uh, my long sleeve shirt, and button it up to the collar so I don't have to worry about spiders and 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 wasp and everything mm -hmm. else that yeah. I've encountered before getting in and getting out of my shirt. Uh, I, I'm prepared. Now another thing that a lot of people don't realize out in the heat. When this shirt gets just a little bit damp, now there's a fine line. You can wear one too thin. I have some shirts that I've wore, long sleeve shirts, and come home and be blistered on my arms, Get out. on my chest, right here around the shirt pockets and the collar. Uh, from from the sun's rays, just going yes, right through the going fabric. going through the thin fabric. So, and then if it's too thick, you're you're not breathing. Yeah, you're, you're not allowed that part. So cotton. Is, is the so way to go. That's why historically <clears throat> denim was very popular in the Ab Old West. Absolutely. A lot of breathing. A yeah. lot of breathing. Uh, I wear a particular type of jean. Uh, sometimes it's, it's because of the, the, the fashion of it or whatever. It, it fits me. Yeah. And getting on and off of a horse, yeah. I don't have struggle with my, my crotch hanging up on, on, the, on the, the back of the saddle. Yeah. And uh, there's some jeans that if I want, I want, my, want them to fit, I have to pull them up to my chest. So that's the reason I choose the kind of jeans that I wear. Um, so in, in essence, you're right. un, it's a uniform. I'm, I'm going to use the word uniform, but not. Exactly. exactly. It's, it's like someone else getting ready, a, a fireman. Yep. Or yep. someone in the line of work that has yep. to wear coveralls for protection e and whatnot. Exactly. And that's that's the way a professional, you know, if you'll sure. allow me to use that. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. And so that that's what... There's been times that I would be in a grocery store, okay? Somebody walk up to me and say, apparently you are a cowboy by the way you dress. Yeah. And I said, I have been called worse is usually my punchline. Yeah. And I have received jobs that helps put food on my table for my family because I chose to wear my boots and my spurs and my jeans and my hat to the grocery store. I don't get those kind of things. And so- Apparently uh, <laughs> you are a TV personality. 
I'm going to pay no. you to sing at my daughter's birthday. That doesn't happen. Right, right, right. Well, We're maybe... We're willing to make that happen, though. Yes, maybe if you carried your guitar with you or yeah. whatever, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Whatever you normally would so have So you on. have actually had gainful employment just from yes. people recognizing yes, this sir. guy's the real deal. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, and that's, that's but, but also the protection, like we talked about, the, the sensibility of it. If it doesn't make sense, they're not going to do it. For years, for years, I had a lot of trouble finding blue jeans that would fit me small. I wore about a 29 waist, okay? Wow. Yeah. From the time that I was probably in the, uh, I'm going to say, uh, ninth grade till probably just uh, maybe three or four years ago. Mm. But... Uh, Everybody talks about growing up and settling down. I guess it is. It's settling down. But anyway, <laughs> uh, just the last probably two to three years, I started wearing my blue jeans outside of my boots. Now, why is that? Okay. Two reasons. The guy that I used to have make my boots for me, he's kind of quit. And so I've had a hard time getting those taller top boots at yeah. a lesser price. And so that's why I quit wearing those. But I can get jeans in the 32 size, okay, that are 36 or 38 inches long in the length. Sure. Okay. So now I have the ability to pull my jeans outside of my boots. All right. And then uh, some I have to roll the cuffs up. Yeah. They're a little long. Some I, I don't. Uh, then, you know, just little different things like that. Down here where I live now uh, in the Palapena County area, the humidity is, is pretty tough. It's, and you go to tucking those jeans yes, in, is. in the boots, and it goes to rubbing, and it goes to sweating and everything. Uh, cedar berries going, yes. you know, down and getting yes. in your boots and stuff like that. So, so what I'm getting at is being prepared. If, if you thought that there was a snake, I, I see people all the time in town, they thought that there was a snake going to be where they're working. If yeah. they're trimming brushes and hedges, they got snake boots on. They've got thick jeans on. they got gloves on. You know, they're, they're prepared for what they may encounter. Hmm. Hoping that they never see it. Sure. That's why I'll leave the house every day. I'm prepared for what I'm going to encounter. And uh, and so that's uh, whether it's heat, rain, sleet, or snow, we got to get up and go. You know, and that's, that's usually the case. Uh, and so that's why I wear what I wear. Uh, and in the cowboy, I guess, circle, if you'll allow... Uh, there, there is a different shape of hat. There's a different style of jeans. Yeah. There's a different style of, and that doesn't make them any more or any less cowboy. It's just what fits you, and, and it has a little bit of an attitude to it. Yeah. Won't lie. Every cowboy has to have a little bit of attitude or he's not a cowboy. Yeah. You know? and, and I mean that in a good way, a yeah. good attitude. But uh, some of them have a bad attitude, and they usually don't get to come back. But anyway, because mm -hmm. uh, I've done that. I've had bad attitudes before and, and uh, not get to go back to the job. But, th but the main thing is, is, is the wardrobe, the, the uniform, the clothes uh, fits the man. Right. The clothes fits the job, and that's that's, that's any, the key. Any kind of weather you're talking about. Any kind of weather. Uh, I, I've got, uh, when winter comes on, uh, We've got we've got some some clothes that we use in the winter time. Sure. And uh, what at, what would a cowboy wear? I mean, if you're working in the winter time, what does Barry wear? At the first freeze, at the first frost, Barry Clyer whips out these right here. Now you'll notice they're just about as thin as your t-shirt. Yes. Okay. Wow. All right. And don't get close to that flap in the back. I've never allowed anybody to do sure. that. Okay. And that's but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm not going to get close but to they just, they, they just kept, Thank you, and I appreciate that. That's a, and that's you a bet. promise. That's a good teacher-student relationship there. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we've got long johns, long handles. Uh, and, and the, and, but these are the thinner version. Yeah. When I lived up in the panhandle where it snowed a little deeper and, and a whole lot colder, uh, when the wind blew, uh, I had to get some thicker ones. But these are something that I can wear if, if the uh, temperature is going to probably be around 40 for mm -hmm. the high. I can make it in these all day long. Right. Now, I have uh, let the le weatherman, maybe I didn't pay close enough attention to him or he was accidentally wrong. I know that very seldom happens. Rarely. Um, and, and be out in the middle of a pasture, and it was supposed to be 43 today with the wind blowing, wind chilled of 28. And next thing I know, it's 82. The wind's not blowing, and somebody made a mistake. 
and it was me by putting these long johns on. Wow. I have got completely undressed out in the middle of a pasture, holding my horse, taking these off. Okay. Uh, luckily, no one was around. Sure, there's no yeah, cameras. Yeah, absolutely. Then. Well, what uh, what about when it's bitterly cold? Bitterly what, what cold. What happens? What else do you do? We go to layers. Say that the high is going to be 15 that we, day. We go 20. to layers. Then I, I, I use the same. Now that's uh, wool. Long it? johns, yes sir. That's a wool, wool vest, and that will hold in the heat, uh, but also it'll breathe a little bit. It'll, yeah. it'll let you have a little little air. And, uh, and I like to use that. We've got pockets, very accessible, because usually when I'm wearing this, I'm doctoring cattle. It's, so you're going to have a, a syringe side. or something? Have syringes, needles, uh, a lot of times medication I'll have to put, put in there. And that's something that we'll wear. Uh, and and also, nice. it's... it's uh, that's pretty it, fashionable. And though. I'm going to tell you what, it dresses up an old wore out blue jean shirt, too. I mean, you can put that on people. Man, that guy's dressed up, you know. That's and nice. so, uh, and that's about as far as we get. This is a, uh, this is a just a brush type jacket. No, that's more a thicker. I've, I've been around thick. these a lot, but it, yeah, tell us is, why that's a thicker, it is thicker denim. Thick. It'll hold a whole lot more heat, and it will help shed the water. Yeah. yeah so if it's snowing, raining, that type deal, I will have this. A and lot of times. You can ride through briars. Oh yes, sir. One. Yes, sir. And I and I'll do just like I do with the collar mm -hmm. of my shirt. I'll button it up. Button it up. Uh, turn uh, that thing yeah. up, and, uh, and and it's protecting you, keeping the keeping the heat, rain, cold off of you. Uh, the the more common that I wear on a day to day basis, especially in this area, because we just don't get that long lasting cold, is cotton again. The 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 blue jean, and what I like about these, this pocket right here. Uh, it's actually a pocket on the outside, pocket but I, I carry, have this brand. I yeah, mean, I have this yeah, particular one. I have yeah. this jacket, and I carry, like I say, medicine, syringes, yeah. uh, cheese crackers. Uh, right. You know, you bet. I put right. a, put a, a great pirate in there a time or two, mm -hmm. whatever we need. And uh, it, but it, but it's it's feasible. It's usable. It's protecting you, and then uh, and then just layering up. There's been days that that I start out with all three of those on. The vest, this jacket a little smaller on, and then this, and this one over top, top of, it. of it. And then as I go as through the day, up, yeah. as it warms up, all you're doing is riding your horse being still, you need layers. Yeah. And then when I get to what I'm doing, get pinned, get, you know, get the cattle pinned, whatever, uh, we're able to start shedding clothes. And the fun part about it is we always, in the spring, early spring, that's the first time we crack the jackets out, and then we end up leaving at least two or three items at each ranch that we go to. That's you not, do. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, you'll hang it on the fence post and then you leave out. Oh, I see, gone. yeah, leaving, leaving, yeah, yeah because, yeah. And so, but what's, what's good about that, I've, I, I've learned just a small trick to get to come back in the fall. That guy will call and say, hey, we found your jacket. I said, well, I'll pick it up in the fall. And then you have to get called back that's to go get good, your clothes back. But anyway, plan. that's a, clever. Not always. This right here now is that's probably... Pink. Yeah, it's a little bit bright pink. We we got it from the Thousand Hills Cowboy Church, and uh, and I'm I'm man enough to wear pink. Almost a fuchsia. But yeah, I would, yeah, let's call it that. Uh, this right here is probably, and I've heard other cowboys say that this can possibly be the warmest piece of clothing really? that you can put on, because it traps heat. Yes. It's more of a silk type. Yeah. And and you can uh, some people wear it, you know, it like like this right here for for fashion or whatever. Yeah. But what what a cowboy would do with it is he's going to take that thing mm -hmm. and he ties it around like this right here. Then when you put those coats on, that heat doesn't have anywhere to go. It has to stay in. And if it's real uh, cold, you can you it's pull it up. Real cold. You need very, to. Yes, many times I have. Just to keep uh, the wind from cutting you. Absolutely. We'll get our other little device oh, there yeah, we yeah. found. But there there has been times that uh, that this this right here is on, of course, with with jackets and uh, type stuff. And then I found these to be really helpful. Uh, now you can make them uh, out of some old material or whatever. I actually bought this one, uh, and you can take and put this on. That covers your ears right here. Yeah. And then you got your hat on. You got it going on. That's the way to do it, right there. And you can go skiing in there, You can too. go, I tell you what, people could mistake you for it. a professional, professional snow skier. <laughs> but you've got a lot of things going on right here, and uh, it's a little warm today to keep it yeah, on very yeah, long. Can't keep it but, on But uh, Absolutely. But those are items 
that many people I see today, I'm going to say 85, 90% of the people that you see wearing this is wearing it for pure fashion. Sure. Yeah. You know. And but, so that tells me, yeah. that tells me that, hey, it, no matter the fashion, it always comes right back around. Sure. And, and, and if people are willing to give three times as much money for an outfit because it looks like an old wore out cowboy, yeah. then I am always in fashion. But historically, it had function to it. There yes. was a reason yes. the cowboy wore a bandana. Ab it absolutely. It may not have looked like this, absolutely. but it, it had right. dust, breathing in dust. There's enough right. dust around Dust, here with trail the wind. drives. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, absolutely. And then, you know, I mean, we didn't have near as many back then, but I mean, if, you, if, you, if you've got to show up somewhere and don't want to be recognized for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, not in, in, <laughs> encouraging anything there, but for whatever reason, they would have, have this right here on. Huh. Now, we've done quite a bit uh, so far. What are you so excited about? Are you finally getting excited about being a cowboy? Yes. Mm, yes. Okay. Right. I, I have okay. a surprise for you. Oh, wow. Well, I can only imagine. I, you know, I brought, I, I'm out here and we've done the cowboy stuff. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've been and it's hoping been, you'd, it's, you'd catch it's on. It's been, and, uh, yeah. It's been hard. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I, I'm, I'm just don't laugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've learned a lot of things, but I'm, uh, I'm excited because I have cowboy stuff I want to show you. Cowboys like uh, saddles, no, bits no, and spurs. No, no. But I have cow I mean, wardrobe. I have wardrobe. Oh, you've got cowboy clothes. Yes. Because I've been wondering. I mean, the ball cap and t-shirt. I don't judge anybody on what they want to wear. Yeah, but, thank you for that. But, yeah, but I just, uh, yeah. well, I'm, I have, I'm really excited too. I'm excited too. You're finally going to get some cowboy clothes on. That'll be good. I have to show you. I'm ready to see them. Let me see them. Yes. I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm glad. <laughs> glad. Finally. Something he might be good at. I <laughs> wonder what he's going to be wearing. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's ex really exactly what I thought you might think cowboy clothes were. It's got roses on it. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. It's got a pocket. Well, like that, right there. That I, would, I don't know what that's for. Well, that would come in handy if you needed to carry something carry in your something. arm. What, like you, what do you do? What yeah. Do you, you, I, 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 know, I, I don't usually. Yeah. Right. Nice. You may be putting a little more out there than what we need to be putting yeah. out there, but yeah. yeah. Um, you hate it. You hate it. Well, I, I'm not going to hate is a very strong word for you, Brian. Yes, it is. So, uh, I dislike it enough to hate it. But, oh no. I've got some. No. You You're gonna love more. this. How can he top that? Oh. I, I thought we were getting somewhere uh, with uh, turning him into a cowboy, but I don't know. I can't wait to see. You know, the next thing he walks out of that door in wearing, that's what we're gonna work the rest of the day in. And we've got a pretty tough job ahead of us. One that most cowboys don't like. Here to I do. come! Oh my gosh. Absolutely! Absolutely! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yes! Well, I tell you what, Brian, I think that is there. perfect. Uh, I'll tell you what. You like it? We are gonna go. I think that's the perfect, perfect wardrobe for you right. to wear because we've got about 600 square bales we need to unload and oh, put in the barn. SpongeBob. The little hay bales. Square bales. Square bales? Yes. And so I believe you are dressed accordingly. You are protected. I have functional wardrobe. Functional wardrobe. For the cowboy. Yes, sir. I think that. Uh, you approve, don't you? Absolutely. I, I, I couldn't wear it. <laughs> I'm not cowboy enough to pull that off, but I believe you can do it. So this is this is the usual cowboy bailing hay. Official approved, right there. Or throwing hay? Would you say squaring yes. hay? Yeah. Squaring it up. Just squaring it up. You yeah. bet. Brian, I can really see where you're going with that, but yeah. I'm I'm gonna tell you something. I, I think the only problem I have is is is. The coat may be just, the jacket may be a little bit too long, okay? Too long. 
And so I've got a couple of jackets that we might could wear. You do? Yeah, I think. If you'd be willing to try them on. Sure, sure. All right, all right. looks like you'd try on about anything. So I think yeah, I've got Yeah, I'll give it a whirl. All right, okay. that sounds good. Let's get it on. Awesome. Let's go outside and look at these in the sunlight. Well, they don't look any better out here than they did in there. But whatever you think, I guess this is some hay hauling. Um, this is... I'm in polyester. Exactly. Pound's tooth. It doesn't breathe at all. <laughs> no. Woo! Oh. Woo! You've got a cactus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. th that's an embroidered rose. Look at yeah. that. It's a dusty. Yeah. It's I, a pink dusty yeah, rose. I understand, but yeah. uh, I think it's hay hauling time. Let's go get to work. Let's haul the hay in right. polyester. So Barry, what I'm hearing is that and I've seen it firsthand in you, that out here in the rural areas, farmland, ranches, yeah. what you're wearing has function and a purpose. Um, it's not just because it might be the fashionable thing that's, that's going on. Right. It, it, it right. is, but it's, it has real meaning and purpose and, exactly. and, and it's meant to do something yes. that's gonna help you get your job done Absolutely. and get it done easier yeah. uh, without injury, protect yeah. you and keep yeah. you safe oh, and yeah. warm and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, from the sun, you know, sun cancer is rampant, uh, a lot of people, and that's something that when you're outside, that you, you are offering your body up every time you walk outside to more damage. True. Uh, and so that's something that, if gloves, I wear gloves a bunch. Uh, I know several ranch owners and ranchette and, and farmette, you know, and farm owners are around the area that I help from time to time. Uh, when they came out, the very first years that they came out, we're talking about tank tops and shorts and flip-flops and they were excited about being yeah. out in the country wearing yeah. what I want to. I wear a suit and tie all week. So when I come out here, well, the next time I saw them, they've got green briar scratches on them and everything else. Mm -hmm. Now, when I go back and see those people from time to time and help them with their cattle or projects sure. or fences, they, they've, they've got boots up to their knees. They've got thick blue jeans on, thick shirts and gloves and, yeah. and hats. And, and the hats variation, you know, as much. Uh, some people, you know, they got their they got their hat down here like this, protecting all. Yeah. Okay. But that kind of that kind of defeats my my visual. You know, I want to be able to You'll see if they. Things. Yeah. And then there's some that you know turn them up like this, and uh, and they can do that. You know. Yeah. We haven't even yes. talked about boots right. and hats. Right. Uh, I right. get the feeling that's going to be its own episode. I believe so. That's a whole. That's a whole another story in itself because there's so many different kinds. Uh, you know, like you have the square toe. Mm -hmm. uh, that's great. I, I wear a more narrow toe. Mm -hmm. You know, to get in and out of the stirrups yeah. a little bit quicker. Uh, you can herd the cockroaches to the corner, and I can kill them when you they get there. You can kill them there. with that. So I mean, that's that's the whole. Once again, it, it has function. It has function.